Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to our today's uh, French and German 1000 uh, sentence recording project. Uh, so I'm going to give you some basic details about this project and how to go about it, uh, because uh, some people have some confusion, so I thought maybe making this video will you know, clear that away. So I'm going to uh, try to make it uh, quick. Uh, so before going through these all these points and everything, I'm going to tell you how to install the app. So I'm going to send you the app uh, via your uh, WhatsApp or WeChat or Facebook, or you can directly download it from our uh, company page as well, which I will share later with you guys. And um, right now we're here, we have the APK file sent over WhatsApp, so I'm going to open it. And uh, you can see over here, it's saying, you may not have proper app for viewing this content. Now, this is a very common issue, and some people get confused on it uh, regarding it. It's very easy to solve it. Uh, once you receive the file, just make sure that it's downloaded on your WhatsApp. Once it's downloaded, it will automatically be seen in your files, my files. So over here, you can see that in, uh, I can see it in my recent files, iNote uh, something something dot apk. If I don't see it, I can also search for it, okay? So I can search for iNote, and over here I can see iNote Recorder, and I can just open it directly from here. Um, so do you want to still install an update to this existing application? Um, let me just say OK. So it's installing, because I already have this application, so it might be that this is a newer version. Um, and open, and here's my iNote. Uh, here's my iNote uh, application, and now before I can start, I need to log in. So I will go to user, then I will click on lo click login, and I will provide all the login information. You don't need to register yourself, so please remember that. So enter account. So the account number is over here. Like this is the ID. I will paste it here, and over here is the password. Okay, now the password for this one is a little bit difficult, and I cannot uh, copy it. Okay, let's do it like this. I'm a lazy person. I don't want to. I don't remember numbers that easily, so I will just take out the password. Okay, yeah. So here's our password. So. Mm -hmm. And here I'm logging in. So now I'm logged in. So now you should directly see the task over here, but sometimes you won't, you might not see it. So you have to go to fycj-x8. This is your project. Uh, don't go to any other, you know, uh, this French recording task or anything. Please don't go anywhere else. Just click here and click get task. Okay. And now it's asking me. Successful reception, do the task. Yes, do the task. All right, now it's going to take um, uh, some time.
computers um, record a minute long test recording. So you should make a test recording within your app, like oh, sorry, within your phone. Like use your own phone's recorder to record um, a test recording. So for example, I have uh, this app over here, so I can. Um, okay, so it's not letting me record right now because I have the screen, screen recording on. But just make like a recording, uh, a minute long recording here, or 20 seconds, 30 second long recording here, and then listen to it by yourself. And if there's any noise, then uh, you know, uh, make sure that that noise is not there. Um, once you receive the ID, you are bound to return it within 48 hours. So please make sure uh, don't accept an ID if you know that you cannot finish it within 48 hours. Or you can discuss with me or discuss with uh, our manager, and we can provide you, you know, relevant information of whether you should take that ID or not. Uh, please, guys, be punctual, uh, be on time because we have targets to reach, and uh, it also affects uh, the payment process if you're if you're slow, and it also affects other people's payments. So uh, you should make sure that you are on on time. Okay, and um, make sure you understand the word in the text file because that's again very simple. Uh, when you see the word, uh, if you don't know it, if you don't understand, if you don't know how to make a sentence, just skip it. Just use another word. Just use a word by yourself. Uh, maybe you see a word um, like uh, uh, durian. So maybe you don't know what is a durian, or you've never tried durian, or you don't know what to make a sentence with durian. So you can, but you know it's a fruit, so you can change it to mango, or a banana, or an orange, or an apple, anything. Uh, anything is fine. Just don't make too many sentences with apples. Just make sure. Um, because uh, we are supposed to make sentences which are kind of diverse, like about everyday life, travel, movies, countries, cities, you know. So uh, there are, you know, words related to everything. So don't just choose one word or one, you know, kind of uh, word and then just make the whole 1,000 sentences with that. That's also not, not okay. And... Um, yeah, and also uh, uh, I will stress on this number 11 point once again that your voice should be as natural as possible. Just imagine you're talking to someone or you're you know, giving or sending uh, a message to someone. So, for example, if you want to make a sentence with apple um, and you want to make a sentence like, oh, I like to eat an apple every day in the morning. So, okay, now this is too much emotions as well. Like you don't need to put that much emotion, but don't read it like this. I like to eat an apple every day in the morning. Okay, this is not cool. Uh, this kind of sentences will get you rejected. All the recordings that you make, they will go through a quality control department, which will ensure three basic things. Number one, are you a native French speaker or not? If you, if you have a French accent or if you have a German accent, for German language, they are less, uh, less uh, you know, strict. Uh, and um, even if you're a non-native German speaker, but you have good, you know, German pronunciation, it's okay. But for the French uh, language, it's quite strict. You need to make sure that you're, even if you're not from France, that your French should be at a native level. If you have an accent of any other country which uses French as an official language or as a second language, but, um, you know, you've learned it all your life, but if you have an accent, you will get rejected. So please do make sure, because I am not French, I don't speak French, I don't, I cannot differentiate that. So I cannot tell you that, oh, if you are, you know, uh, if you really have a proper French accent or not. So that's, that's something you have to consider by yourself. And so that's number one. They will check your accent for French or German um, for the relevant project. Number two is they will check for noise. Like when you're recording, there should not be any, like, noise in the back. There should not be, like, you know something like in the back or, you know, people stop talking or people chatting or doors closing and opening, dogs barking, kids jumping around. All of these are a big no. And uh, the last thing is that your sentences should sound as natural as possible. If they don't sound natural, you are going to get rejected. Okay, so this was uh, a few things uh, which I wanted to tell you. Now, the next part is what to do once you, uh, you know, once you finish those, uh, those 1,000 uh, sentences. One thing you should, we have to remember that your 1,000 sentences are divided into two parts, uh, 500 each, the way it works on the app. 
Uh, but it doesn't mean that you're, you need to record 500 and then, uh, you know, uh, that your task is done. You need to, uh, you need to complete the whole 1000. You can do another way as well is that you can first finish 500 and then you can submit it. Um, and after the quality uh, team uh, has confirmed that yes, these 500 are completely fine and then you can continue on another 500. All right. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so I'm going to show you some, uh, you know, screenshots using uh, the Hindi Hindi project because that's something which is already going on, and that is something which, uh, you know, we have like the QCs coming in and out. So you can see over here, uh, this guy he has, um, you know, uh, finished his uh, two tasks of 500 words each, uh, 500 sentences each. And the first one, uh, which he submitted on uh, the 29th of Jan uh, uh, February, has already been checked. You can see it says checked. And the second one, which he submitted on the 4th of March, has not been checked yet. Um, because there's a weekend in the middle and everything, so probably it will be checked uh, in, a, in a couple of days. Now, the one which is checked, you can you can go and uh you can you can exactly see uh if any of your work has been rejected they will give a reason for it they're not just going to you know uh just say that okay uh your file or your recording has been rejected there's a proper system for everything and uh, uh there like it, and this system should be followed okay um uh, right now let me let me let me show you so, okay, uh, let me go back to the app and show that. So if I go to my tasks, so once, so if I, if I stop in the middle, I can, I can go back to, uh, and I, when I go back to the app, I need to go to the task. I have no need to go back into FYCJ. All right. And, uh, I can, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can go back into the task. And uh, over here, you can click again, and you will go back, and you can. And uh, once I'll complete this task, this will go into the completed tasks over here, and I will get another task over here in incomplete section. Once I complete that as well, it will also go uh, to the completed task. And then I will get another one over here, but I don't need to do that. The only reason uh, you will need to do that third uh, batch of 500 is if any one of your batch is rejected by the quality control team for any of the three reasons which I've mentioned before. All right. So, yeah, so that that's pretty much it, guys, about this project, I think, and I hope uh, it makes sense to you. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask me, and uh, I will be more than happy to answer you uh, those questions. All right? So um, I'll be taking my leave now. Thank you very much, everyone, and uh, hope to see you and uh, hope to cooperate with you guys soon.